Good morning, and it's going to be a really good morning. We're at Bounty Hunter Toys, a local favorite on Kenilworth Avenue North in Hamilton. Kenilworth Avenue North, because they moved. Mike, good morning. Hello. All right, so you moved. We moved. Tell us all about that. So we had a smaller store. It was a good store. It did us well. It was. Uh, but we needed a much bigger place. We needed a much bigger place. We went from like 1,500 square feet to 3,600 square feet. We needed a sh designated uh, shipping section, designated sorting section, a uh, place to put stock easily. So I'm not moving 10 totes to get to one toy. Now I can just open a box and it's right there. Nice, nice. And s for anyone who doesn't know what Bounty Hunter Toys is, I mean, toys is in the name, yeah. but when you said shipping and boxing, so what exactly do you do here, Mike? We sell, uh, we sell fun. No, we sell, uh, we sell old retro toys. So we sell toys that are uh, no longer available at retail, out of print, uh, just old toys. Usually, usually we kind of cater to the 70s, 80s stuff, early 90s. So it's definitely stuff that you grew up with. So stuff that you grew up with, right? Oh, Mike? definitely stuff I grew up <laughs> yeah. with. Yeah. How did you get an idea to do all this? And when did it all begin? When did the magic and the fun begin, um, Mike? I've been doing this. I've been selling toys for about 30 years now. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting old. As old <laughs> as, old as the toys. Um, no, I started off, I was collecting when I was a kid. I always collected comic books, the odd record here and there. And uh, when, one day I literally found out, oh, my old toys are worth money. So I went and sold them. And uh, it's just something I got into just as a part-time thing, just make a little bit of cash on the side. And it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then in uh, October of 2000, we opened the store. Wow. And so when you say when you were a kid and you realized that some of your toys were worth money or when you got a little bit older, mm -hmm. right? So does that mean that people can come here and sell their toys? Absolutely. We always buy toys. And, and I mean... If the better shape they're in, you're going to get more money. If they're in the box, you get a lot more money. Right. But even if you've got toys and they're missing accessories or a figure's missing an arm, we'll probably buy it because we can use the parts for other toys that we have. You know, we can always complete stuff. So, so pretty much people, okay, so they're going through their basements, their attics. They have this old memory box under their bed. It's all dusty. Open it up. Find a toy if they're not sure about it. Oh, just all... drop us a message. Shoot us an email. Give us a call. Uh, shoot us a message on social media. We're, yeah. we're at BH Toys everywhere, so I mean you can find us easily. Okay. Um, you know if we don't, if it's not something that we carry, like say trains or whatever, we usually know somebody we can send you to. Nice. You know, but if it's if it's action figures or definitely stuff from 70s and 80s, we're we're gonna take it. Okay. We're gonna take it before we send it somewhere else. How many days a week are you open? Uh, we're open Tuesday to Saturday. Nice. So we're only open five days a week because uh, doctors don't work on Sunday. Ah. So you know, yes. I need that one day one day off, <laughs> and I just need one day off just to rest. So you know, <laughs> we we get so many toys in that I do spend a lot of time on our days off. Here, sorting toys, pricing toys, adding stock to the website, processing orders. I mean, it's, it's a it's nonstop a process. gig. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. Okay, well, we have a lot more to come here at Bounty Hunter Toys on Kenilworth Avenue North in Hamilton. Mike is here, and let the fun begin. All right. Good morning. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Bounty Hunter Toys. I love this assignment. Love this store in Hamilton, Kenilworth Avenue North. This is their new location. Mike, is this the first time we've been here on Morning Live at your new location? I know we've uh, yeah. been no, it is, yeah. visiting you a lot, but... Yeah, yeah, it's the very right. first time, yeah. So lucky me. Hopefully not last. <laughs> Hopefully, no, time. it won't yeah. be. I'm holding... Uh, yes. Clone Trooper helmet. <laughs> yes, I am. And we are in the Star Wars section here of this. What would you refer to your store as? Uh, vintage toy shop. Vintage, vintage toy, toy shop. Toy shop. Easy, okay. easy uh, categorization for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've got like... some newer stuff. I mean, we got stuff, some stuff from the last ten years as well. Right. Like every store probably does. Sure. But we specialize in the vintage stuff. That's what I. That's what I grew up with. That's my passion. That's what yeah. I know. And this is this is the exciting part because you're you're giving you're bringing memories to people, right? Like bringing them back think of, memories, bringing back yeah. memories to people, or even like the newer generation. Do you find you get a lot of younger people coming in? And we have a ton of young customers. Yeah? So we've got we so I can't even think of a good example. Right, GI Joe. There's no current GI Joe cartoon going on. Right. And uh, we have tons of little kids, probably under the age of ten, that are right into GI Joe. And, and if both my mind. And, and they know, and, and kids come in for the wrestling, for example, too, which really? we'll talk about later. Yeah. But they know a whole, whole, whole 
Hulk Hogan and all the old time wrestlers that's are. Nice. Roddy Piper, Jake the Snake, Maybe all those guys. parents and stuff. And too. that's the thing is parents, it's YouTube, it's all yeah. that stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about Star Wars, of course, though, because there are a lot of modern uh, re remakes of Star Wars and cartoons and spin offs and stuff. But yeah, we, sequels. You and not, I, not, not quite sequels. remakes, but sequels. Okay. Sequels and, and sequels. continuing stories, yeah. Right. But yeah. you and I, we like the original. Oh, I prefer, I prefer Han, Han and uh, Chewie are my guys. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your Star Wars section here? I mean, I can see you have so much. Yeah, well, we we carry everything going from the vintage stuff, uh, which came out in the late 70s, uh, right up to newer Star Wars Black or Star Wars Vintage Collection, which is uh, kind of a play on the old stuff. They made, made the figures look updated and new, but they right. use the old style packaging. Wow. So it's very, very retro looking. Um, we only sell complete. We only sell original. We don't do reproduction items. Uh, we will do reissues. That's fine. But uh, they have to be in the package for us to do reissues. So when you say reproduction, what do you mean by that? So there's, there's a group of people, well, there's tons of people actually now, where you can 3D print weapons that are missing. So if you're missing a uh, Stormtrooper blaster for a Stormtrooper, you can print off the Stormtrooper blaster, or you can get a mold made, and then you can put it with the toy. Oh, wow. It's almost indistinguishable. Okay. But there are, over the, like I said, I've been doing this 30 years, there are things you can definitely look for. I can, I can tell just by looking at a toy now if it's a repro item. Really? Yeah, just because I've, I've done it so long, right? Wow. Um, they're, they're getting better. They're getting much better. But yeah, it's just one thing we just don't do. We just, if, if you want to collect repro items with your items, that's great. There's no wrong way to collect. Whatever makes you happy is the best way to collect. Sure. But we personally, we don't want to do repro stuff. Okay. It's just something we don't want to do. We'd rather do all the original stuff. The, the, oh, older, the older, the better, you know? Yes, yeah. it's authentic. Okay, we're going to be back. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of wrestling. Well, maybe not you and I are going to wrestle. No, no, we're going to no, talk no. about wrestling toys. Yeah. Yeah? There's, there's no belt on the line, so we won't wrap up. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Morning Live, Bouncer Hunt, Hunt, Hunter Toys here in Hamilton on Kenilworth Avenue North. <sighs> okay. Mike and I just wrestled in the break. I won. I'm the champion. Yeah! All right. <laughs> Bouncy Hunter Toys. You know what? We're reliving our youth, our childhood, good memories that we had. We're making new memories. Well, at least now I'm a first time champ here. Hamilton, Kenilworth Avenue North. You can come on in and relive some of your favorite moments as a kid growing up. Mike, big wrestling fan? Huge wrestling fan. I, bl I blame my grandmother. Your grandmother? My grandmother. When I was a kid, she used to watch it all the time, so I'd stay with her for one weekends or whatever, and I'd uh, watch wrestling. Wow. Yeah, I grew up with Roddy Piper as my favorite. Hulk oh. Hogan was her favorite, so they really? kind of Really? But it I liked, uh, I, I grew up watching it with my dad. I liked Jake the Snake Roberts yeah. and Jimmy Fly Snooka. Jimmy Fly, yeah. He's yeah, good. really, really good stuff. Now, yeah. you said you're a big fan. I'm seeing this is a really big collection. We have probably the largest selection of wrestling in probably Ontario, to be honest. Wow. I, I haven't been anywhere else, but I've heard from a ton of people that have come from everywhere in Ontario. We've had wrestlers come here and do uh, toy hunts and videos. We've really? had a couple, oh yeah, yeah, a couple of them. Uh, uh, Ethan Page, who's from Hamilton, wow. actually. Uh, so he's in AEW right now. We've had uh, Zach Ryder, his, Matt Cardona is his real name, but yeah. he's been here with uh, Brian Myers as well. Uh, we still get business from him. Matt, Matt, and, Matt and Brian were here four years ago, and we're still getting people coming in from their video. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. So tell us about what you have. I see a lot of these uh, dolls or figurines. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Uh, so we've got wrestling toys going back to uh, early 80s, 83, 84, wow. uh, up to the current stuff. So, I mean, not, not quite current. Most of our stuff is at least six months old. So if there's a figure out that your, your, your kids are looking for and you can't find it at Walmart or Toys R Us or Amazon, we've probably got it. We've got a loose bins that, that figures start at five bucks. Uh, and they're always in great shape. We don't buy garbage. We don't buy them beat up. You know, we try to make sure everything's in good shape. We've got uh, figures packaged. We've got uh, mini statues. We've got rare stuff, older stuff, limited editions, exclusives, uh, title belts for the figures that they can wear, bendable figures, uh, just so name, name it. For wrestling, we've got it. As you right. saw, we have title belts, like little uh, kid title belts. Yes. We've had replica life-size, almost real title belts as well. Really? They sell really quick. I bet. But they're, but they're expensive. They're like four or 500 bucks a pop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have a website? Yeah, BountyHunterToys.com. Okay. All of our uh, packaged wrestling items are on there. We don't put our loose items because that would just take forever. You know? <laughs> right. uh, but whenever we buy collections of wrestling, which we always buy collections, doesn't matter how big or small it is, we'll probably buy it. Loose, packaged, whatever. Um, we always put them on the website first. So if people go on a waiting list for items on the website, they get first pick. Nice. Right? Then we put them in the store. And then like two days later, we announce on social media, hey, we got more wrestling in. So we look at it as a loyalty thing. So first, the people on our website take the time to fill out the form on the website and go on the waiting list, get first shot. People that come in the store, get next shot. And then social media gets 
gets the leftovers. <laughs> that's what say. <laughs> but there's, yeah. everything that's left over is still good. It I mean, we don't sell is, we don't yeah. sell anything bad when it comes to wrestling. It's always good stuff. Seems like you really got a good system going here. Yeah. Bounty Hunter Toys in Hamilton, and we have one more to go. We're going to talk about I don't know what surprise. We'll me. figure How about it out. That? Okay, sure. We'll sure. figure it out. We'll be back on Morning Live with Bounty Hunter Toys. So I'm walking around Bounty Hunter Toys. There's just so much here. Believe me, you need to come in to see everything that I'm seeing. We only have a short amount of time in which I need to stop talking right now to show you as much as we can. But Bounty Hunter Toys on Kenilworth Avenue North here in Hamilton has so many things. You look left, you look, you look left, you look right, look up. Like everywhere you look, there's something that could bring you back to your childhood, something maybe you've never heard of or something you want to know more of, something you want to sell. Mike, my goodness, you have a lot of stuff here. And this is your new location. That's why we needed a bigger location. Right. We have too much stuff. Too much stuff. It's not that's a, bad a good thing. That, exactly, that's a good thing. It's for a good business thing, yeah. owner. So we are in the back part of your store. The back end of the store, yeah. We're the GI Joe uh, from from like 1982 to present. GI Joe toys are massive universe, uh, original Transformers from the 80s as well. Right. Back here, Star Trek's back here. There's so much Star Trek I back see here. Spock up here. I mean, there, like I said, and I, people need to come in here because there's just so much to look at. Now we're backing up here. We have more. Is it superheroes? We've got superhero. We've got newer super, not newer, but the last five, ten years of superheroes. We've got old figures from the '70s, Mego toys, Batman animated series, Spider-Man. Wow, my We goodness. do so many superheroes. Marvel Legends, DC Universe figures. Gee, Aaron's yeah, trying to keep up I with know. us here. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> we're walking a little fast, but we're trying to get all this in. And then on this side, more superheroes. More superheroes. Years. This is Marvel okay. Legends stuff, some DC Universe stuff. We also do comic books. Comic books, you know? yes. Beautiful. I know a lot of people collect these, yeah. too. Comics is a small part of our stuff, but we do big books. So okay. we do some very cool stuff. And again, just to remind people, if they have something at home, in a bin, in the attic, in the basement, they're not sure yeah, if, if it's Yeah, if you're not sure, something? just drop us a line. We, okay. uh, we'll be more than happy. Sometimes we come out, depending on where you live, we'll travel out to pick up the collection if it's too big for you to bring in as well. Right, you know? right. But I mean, since we've moved here, We've got a bunch of collections in already moving here, and that's great. I, I, I'm constantly sorting through toys and that in the back. Um, but I can, yeah, yeah, I just, I, I get, I get, I get flustered thinking about all the toys that we get in here. <laughs> Again, yeah. that's a good, that's a good flustered, It's a good right? thing, yes. And how, how has it been moving here and having your new place? Moving here has been great. I will never move again okay. um, because it, it took forever to move. <laughs> well, you have so many things. Well, that's the thing, right? And, we, and you have and like when you move your house, you got to be careful. But when you move your toy store, you got to be really careful. For sure. You know, because yeah. everything's old and you don't want it to get damaged. Um, but. But absolutely, it was a, it was a real pain. And uh, if it weren't for four people, there's no way I would have been able to move the store here. So I need to thank Sean, Beth, my wife Denise, and my dad. So hey, dad. Hey, dad. Thanks, dad. All right. Well, this is the last time moving, but uh, you know, it's not far from your old location. No, Still we're, a we're local just a two-minute drive. Yeah, two-minute yeah. drive away. Lots of locals, but I'm sure you get people from out of town coming in too. All right? over the place. Yeah. yeah, we got parking on the street. We got parking out the back now okay. too, which we never had before. Oh, that's good. Uh, so there's plenty, plenty of space, plenty of toys, plenty of, plenty of fun. All right, plenty of fun. That sounds good to me. It's all about fun on Morning Live, Bounty Hunter Toys. Thanks, Mike. I think I'm going to do a little shopping in Aaron, too. <laughs> this program brought to you in part by Bounty Hunter Toys in Hamilton. Have old toys in your basement, attic, or garage? Call Bounty Hunter Toys to get the best price for them today.